Hello, I'm back again, and this time I'd like to tell you about um, my holiday to Mexico. Um, I went to um, Cancun um, with my mum for seven nights, and we stayed at the um, Las Perlas Hotel. Um, that that hut there, that's um, where we'd have uh, all our meals. We were all inclusive, but uh, it, was, it was quite a good value holiday. And um, this is here, you can see, this is Valladolid. Um, and here's a market, and you can see the um, the women in um, Mayan costume there. That's a well called Ik Kill, uh, Cenote, and um, it's a, a popular spot for diving. Uh, this is where we went for lunch, and you can see um, some locals balancing uh, bottles of beer on their heads. And here you can see, well, the, the main reason that uh, I decided to go to Mexico. Um, this is Chichen Itza. This is the um, Temple of Kulkan, which is the, the, main, uh, the main attraction, really, um, after the huge pyramid. Um, the first two sides you saw there were restored, whereas um, the next two sides, um, as you can see, have been uh, laid in a... still remain in, in a state of decay. That was a ball court, you can see there. And this, um, this wall is the Wall of Skulls, which actually contains... Um, skulls of the uh, the captives um, within it. Um, that's the temple of the warriors, and here now you can see um, the sacred well, which um, contains uh, which which supplied the city with water um, uh, for the for the local people. This is um, the observatory, and this is the nunnery. Um, on the left you can see a guide and the lady on the right. Um, is flogging souvenirs for one dollar. The next excursion that we went on was um, to the sites of Koba and um, Tulu. Um, Koba, as you can see, is, um, is basically a, a massive temple um, which, unlike Chichen Itza, um, you can actually climb, albeit at your own peril. Um, of course, I being the sort of person who climbs absolutely everything, couldn't resist but going up. Um, it's very easy to get up. Um, it's not quite so easy to get down. Um, but uh, the views from the top were, were quite stunning, albeit um, rather green and a bit repetitive. Um, this, uh, yes, we, we got a rickshaw on the way back because we didn't have very much time after we'd climbed um, up to the top. Um, and this is a lake uh, by which we had our lunch. This is me um, enjoying an aperitif um, before our dinner. And, um, yeah, this is my mum enjoying, hopefully, her dinner. And this was the um, outside bar area. Yep, yeah, this is um, Tulum here. Oh, there's a map of it. Um, went on a little sort of train thing um, to get to the site. Um, here's um, an iguana. Um, and uh, this is our guide showing us around the place. Um, yes, it's yet another Mayan site, the third one, um, and this one is um, actually on, on the coast, which makes it slightly different from the others, um, I think. I mean, it's, it was more, more beautiful in a way, um, and very well preserved. Um, coming up, you'll see now, um, some, I don't know if you can see the faces there that are actually um, carved in into the buildings, and... Um, here, yes, a few people went <laughs> went swimming. Um, I, I didn't bother myself, um, but the, the water, as you can see, is absolutely blue. Oh, there's another, there's another iguana there. Um, there's my mum posing um, by the Caribbean Sea, um, and there's a there's a panorama there of the, of the whole site of Tulum. That's me having what I thought was a um, strawberry milkshake, but turned out not to be. Um, and uh, here's a sunset um, when it all ended.